Hello, and welcome to another UV Mapper Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be discussing the right-click menu and how it helps us select various portions of our OBJ file. So, let's jump into this. Uh, you can use the right-click in the perspective view. You can also use it in the texture view. And when you right click over a uh, part of your OBJ file, you get this series of selections. So you can select a group. All listed will give you the left door as well as the right door. And if you left click on that, there you go. That's what we have left and right door and when you hit the inner key on your keyboard they are deselected again let's uh, try selecting something in perspective view we'll go ahead and right click on the top of the uh, engine uh, panel here select group is bonnet and that gives us both the uh, lid portion as well as the hinge portion. I'm going to hit the inner key on the keyboard again to deselect it. And this time when I right click on top of it, I am going to choose bonnet for the material. And again, we've got the same thing we had before. I'm going to hit the inner key on the keyboard and we're going to go down through the selection stack select region and this is empty because regions are something that is used just within UV mapper and uh, they work great for me as a, a place where I can stash uh, groupings of parts temporarily that I am not ready to call a group or a material yet and uh, that's why it's empty here and you don't see anything off to the side select geometry when we select that that gives us the top of the bonnet it gives us the sheet metal piece minus the hinges so if you wanted to select that that is the uh, option that you would use to achieve that select geometry Go beneath it, select UV set. And that pretty much gives us the exact same thing that we just had. The same thing as uh, select geometry would give us. We could jump down and grab select facet, in which case we only grab the facet that was underneath the cursor and you can see it's a tiny little tiny facet over in here or right here in the perspective view hit the uh, going to put the cursor over the top of it and hit the inner key on the keyboard and uh, right there is where that facet was anyway that's uh, how the right click works in uh, UV Mapper Pro to get you various selections uh, let's go off to the side of the body here and, and try this exercise again we're going to select group first and uh, the first selection gives us car body selecting the group gives us the group known as car body which includes all of what is shown here we're going to right click again and material car body gives us the sheet metal of the car minus the engine and the trunk and the, the interior of the cab and all that other stuff this is just the basic shell of the car uh, click on that again and select geometry and that further drops out a little bit more of it to give us this much uh, right click again and select UV set and once again 
a little bit more drops out of it. So you can see that you can use that right click menu to uh, get a lot of uh, what you would like to see. And if, if for some reason you wanted to select a small portion of this, you could remap it, uh, let's say, in planar mapping on the Y axis. This is, uh, don't split, this will be looking down from the top. And, uh, looks kind of funny this way, but we can drag it out and we can right click and go select inverse use the uh, left bracket key on the keyboard to hide it right click select inverse and that gives us this portion again now let's say that we wanted to select somewhere in here and, and create another group for some reason well I'm gonna hit the keyboard to deselect it and with the uh, select by facet engaged up here I'm going to go to the rectangular marque tool and I'm gonna go ahead and select a chunk of this in here and you can see it's this chunk right here and I could go ahead and uh, Wait a minute, what do I want to do? I want to go to Tools, Assign To, and I could assign it to any one of these areas. Let's say I wanted to make another uh, material out of it. I could go here to Material and, and type a name for it. Uh, I'll call it the Escape Hatch. And uh, click OK. Yeah, does not exist. Do I want to create it? Yes, I do. And now forever forward this selection of facets is going to be known as the escape hatch in the uh, materials so hit the inner key and it deselects and uh, there we are and uh, that's uh, how you do selecting in uh, Ufi Mapper Pro using the right click menu I'll be back soon with another UV Mapper tutorial. Good luck.